Hello again guys and welcome back to Clop Extreme Gaming Channel. <coughs> uh, this is a replay, I'm going to do a couple of these from um, Relanthus's uh, 20 t hour charity live stream uh, that we did on, well he did sorry, in June in aid of cancer research and help for heroes. He raised a significant amount of money uh, from the guys on the stream so big thank you for that for those guys that donated. Um, we're teamed up um, with myself, Melanthius, and Pointy Head Jedi. Uh, those of you who watch a lot of um, replay videos of what essentially you may remember Pointy Head Jedi from Quickie Baby's uh, live streams. He plays a lot with Jingles, uh, Quickie Baby, Ektar, uh, Circumflexes, and people like them. So it was an absolute pleasure to play with him. Uh, get some. Uh, to ask him some questions. Uh, basically, we've decided in our three Cromwells to um, to basically go wolf packing. All the heavies have gone up to the valley in the north where they usually go. There's a couple of TDs covering base, so we've decided to go have some fun in our Cromwells. And if you've watched any of my videos previously, you know that I absolutely love this tank. Uh, I think it's an amazing, amazing vehicle, amazing flanking vehicle. Armor's not worth shit, but everything else about it's good. Good mobility, good traverse, good turret traverse. Um, in the right circumstances, you can make people look stupid in it, uh, which hopefully we'll show you later on. Now, I've got an M5A1 Stuart with us, and he's going scouting. It's always nice to have um, friendly meat shields, forward slash scouts. Unfortunately, he falls foul of the uh, Panzer III and the Electo. Decided to take out the Electo as quickly as possible, because that thing's got a very, very powerful cannon. I think something like a six-pounder on there. Make short work of the uh, Panzer III fall and carry on around the flank. Yeah, this live stream was, um, I happened on it by chance, completely by chance, and Melanthius, the chap who's in the other Cromwell, uh, he's from the same regiment as me in the military, um, we didn't serve together, but it turns out that actually I might have been some of the places he's been in the same time he was there, I mean I was in basic training, he was in basic training, etc, etc, and I happened on his stream by accident, I noticed him on his little camera thing at the bottom that he was actually wearing a Royal Anglian Regiment beret, um, and I just asked him, is it 1st or 2nd Battalion? And he was in the 1st Battalion, I was in the 2nd Battalion. Um, oh, KV1S shoots me in the ass. Um, I just said to him, you know, and he was doing a 20 hour live stream and he was starting to flag a little bit. I said, well if you need me through the night shift, just give me a shout. And we ended up, I joined him about half past nine and uh, stopped playing about seven o'clock in the morning. So, And ever since then we've become friends and I drop in on his live stream occasionally, platoon up with him and stuff. It's all good. Uh, I was actually thinking a while ago um, of actually starting my own live stream but what I'll just do is I'll just live stream with Merle um, a bit later on down the line if it all comes apparent that you know Merle wants to drop off all the tanks or whatever I might start it up but I've been looking into it and to set it up you know you, you kind of have to have the fan base there first Melanthus already had the fan base and his channel's quite successful um, so hey ho I'll, uh, I'll stick with the already established thing there. Pointy goes a bit real low there and takes one from the KV-1S but he's just fired so therefore he's got a 13 second reload and he has got absolutely no hope whatsoever he gets absolutely owned uh, by the three Cromwells now I do a bit of off-road driving down here and you know you know my fascination with rocks <laughs> dunk and even the enemy team uh, Churchill has to have a bit of a giggle at uh, three Cromwells managed to absolutely annihilate that KV-1S um, just looking for the duck tank now, the AMX-40. Um, I have made a decision after watching Tim's replay on the uh, AMX-5100. I'm going to try and grind up the French heavy line. I'm probably going to skip the first two or three tiers with free experience because I really don't want to be using the B1. I might start the BDR, see how I get on from there. Uh, just to close the end of the game, it's 14-3, so we've absolutely kicked this team's ass. But I'm facing a Churchill 7. I'm on my own. On paper. I should be screwed, um, but I have friends who are working their way back to me, and unfortunately this, uh, I think this Churchill 7 had given up at this point. Um, it's quite well armoured from the front of the Churchill 7, I have to avoid his frontal armour and I just circle around him using my mobility, there's no way he's got the gun elevation, he, he puts one into me but I'm safe, he's tracked, he's screwed, and I secure the kill. And that's the end of that. Uh, there'll be more coming up from uh, Mel's live stream. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it while I was there. 
Um, I've got, let's have a look at my screen, I've got a T29 re replay, replay, Pershing, and a T34. So what I'll do is I'll start doing those now. As far as I'm concerned, guys, for the moment, that's Globit signing off. Take care, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe. Bye now.